So last night around 2.15 in the morning, um, Bodu Garrity was uh, in the middle of a ferocious bark, um, a, a very persistent, ferocious bark. And to the point that, that you woke up and you thought, well, this will end at some point. But it, it really didn't. It was persistent. Um, and my wife leaned over and she goes, will you get him to shut up? Um, and with my experience on the Ponderosa, what I know typically from when a dog barks, there's usually a purpose, especially if it's in the middle of the night. So I look out. Um, he was, he, he's, his quarters are in the walkout basement area. That's where he's quartered. His, he's quartered. He is, we crate trained him, so he, that's his home. He goes in there, he sleeps, he's great. Um, so we do that at night. He walks right in, goes to bed, that's it. Um, but it has a view out the walkout basement doors. It's a full window doored walkout. And he looks through there. And it is right underneath our bedroom window. So it, it walks out right there. So I look out. And I see intruders. Now, uh, my initial thought is, well, we got to, we're gonna have to do something about this. So I start making my way to the basement. Um, as I make my way to the basement, I see that Buddy Garrity is in an attack position, staring down the intruder. Now, the intruder, knowing that there is glass between Buddy Garrity and himself or herself, is not moving. The intruder is not fearful at all of Buddy Garrity's barks. The intruder is not alone, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, no. Several intruders. They were at the doorstep of the Bishop premises. Buddy Garrity was not shaken. Now, when I got near Buddy Garrity and hit the light that goes over the outdoor uh, where you walk out the walkout, they were exposed. And at this point... The intruders began to flood. I counted three to six is my estimation on them. Now, these bandits, as it were, from the markings on their face, would be best described as in the middle of their operation. So I open the door and they they flee. They're gone. They're on a dead sprint. The combination of Buddy Garrity and myself is too much for them to bear. But they had done damage. Now, you might ask yourself, did Buddy Garrity think the job was done? No. No, he did not think the job was done. In fact, Buddy Garrity, as soon as I opened the door, bat out of hell, chased them off the premises to his electrical line where he knows to stop and into the woods. Did he come back proudly? You're damn right he did. <laughs> You're damn right he did. Did he get a treat at 2.30 in the morning? You damn right he did. The raccoon that I saw was, I would say, best described the size of a Winnebago. <laughs> it was the fattest damn raccoon I've ever seen in my life. His little buddies with him, the little bandits with him, three to six, smaller. But the king was a big boy. He was showing them how he got big. This is where I get big. <laughs> so now you say, well, what, what brings them here? How were they lured in? So last night, yesterday afternoon, my wife had some of the boys over after lacrosse, and apparently there was some uneaten food, stuff like this, that they put in the outside garbage. These suckers jumped on top of the outside garbage, knocked it over, and were pillaging it this morning. Or that last night, in the middle of the night, they were pillaging it and taking it from the garbage to the woods. They had a, they had a, a, a trail that they were taking it from, several of them. I mean, this was like a scene out of Over the Hedge. If you've seen this, the Netflix uh, with your kids, the, the Over the Hedge show, that's what it was like. Um, so this morning, you might say, well, what was Buddy Garrity the hero like this morning? Simple. Ready to go on his patrols. As soon as I opened the door, full property patrol. Let's take a look at things. What did he find? Root beer cans. Snacks. These little suckers had a full-on supply chain that was running from the garage or the uh, the walkout garbage all the way into the woods. I've never seen anything like this operation, and he foiled it. And that, my friends, is why if a dog barks, there's a reason. I've never been more proud. I had, I sat the boys down this morning and said, what are you going to do for the house today? What are you going to do? Nothing is the answer. Play Fortnite. Do some lacrosse. You're not going to do anything. We saved the house. Where were you at 2.45 this morning? That's right. Buddy Garrity was saving the house. Was saving the house.
Intruders. Yeah, I've never been so proud of him. I've already given him like 16 hot dogs this morning. I'm sure he's going to throw up. I don't even care. But I'll be honest, you got me with it. With I didn't. I, eventually, I was like, oh, he's talking about an animal, not an, right. an actual human retru- uh, r- intruder. But yeah, Buddy Garrity did his job. Kit will bark at just about anything. So I, I wouldn't yeah. say that it's a foolproof plan, but I would say if she barked upstairs and went downstairs, that would probably alert us of something uh, that like, oh, there's something there's a actually tone. going on. Yeah. There's a tone to the bark, isn't there, Reese? Yeah, Odie's got tones. So I know. And for the most part, it's uh, I've heard the tone, the, the danger tone only a handful of times. But everything else is is kind of like a low growl to a whoop. And yeah. and that's that's generally it with Odie, but yeah, as soon as you uh, said there were multiple, I was like, oh, we got a we got a clan over there. Yeah. I guess you'd call it a mob, <clears throat> yeah. a mob of raccoons just living like kings. And I've never like, seen one as like big as ants. Yeah, like taking they were it like back ants. to their it was home. A, it was a supply chain. It was an organized supply chain. The the leader, the kingpin. I think I'm going to call him Robbie. He was uh, his size. I had I've, I've seen a lot of raccoons. I've never seen one this big. I mean, he was literally the size. It was the size of like a, a watermelon. Like was his body definitely an overeater? <laughs> oh <laughs> this my raccoon. gosh, he's killing it. He's killing it. I get Hank the Hawk to come take these guys out. Like, this is insane that these guys are running free in the woods like this. Because he is like a kingpin, you should leave out some gabagool and see if they are are, so, are kind of that and take that and maybe give him a robe. See what he does. See what he does. There's a great uh, Sebastian Maniscalco bit about his how his dad would say, we're going to get rid of these raccoons right now. And we take bologna and dip it in antifreeze. <laughs> and the next morning, just death. So last night around 2.15 in the morning, um, Bodu Garrity was uh, in the middle of a ferocious bark, um, a, a very persistent, ferocious bark. And to the point that, that you woke up and you thought, well, this will end at some point, but it, it really didn't. It was persistent. Um, and my wife leaned over and she goes, will you get him to shut up? Um, and with my experience on the Ponderosa, what I know typically from when a dog barks, there's usually a purpose especially if it's in the middle of the night. So I look out, um, he, he, he's, his quarters are in the walkout basement area. That's where he's quartered. His, he's quartered. He is, we crate trained him. So he, that's his home. He goes in there, he sleeps. He's great. Um, so we do that at night. He walks right in, goes to bed. That's it. Um, but it has a view out the walkout basement doors. It's a full window doored walkout. And he looks through there. And it is right underneath our bedroom window. So it, it walks out right there. So I look out and I see intruders. Now, uh, my initial thought is, well, we gotta, we're going to have to do something about this. So I start making my way to the basement. Um, as I make my way to the basement, I see that Buddy Garrity is in an attack position staring down the intruder. Now, the intruder... Knowing that there is glass between Buddy Garrity and himself or herself is not moving. The intruder is not fearful at all of Buddy Garrity's barks. The intruder is not alone, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, no. Several intruders. They were at the doorstep of the Bishop premises. Buddy Garrity was not shaken. Now, when I got near Buddy Garrity, and hit the light that goes over the outdoor uh, where you walk out the walkout, they were exposed. And at this point, the intruders began to flood. I counted three to six is my estimation on them. Now, 